<sighs> God damn it. Yeah, I'm getting frustrated with grinding right now because I've been grinding all day today. I've got these two to Azeroth's Axe Pluses. This needs Dragonite Ore and Bone Pluses, and I also want to get Amber Slash. This though needs three more shells, and I've just been grinding Barrow for a lot today, and I just don't want to do it again. I, sh I could go grind Ludroth, but I didn't want to. I just want to get this episode started. So, first things first. I got a lot of fire, fire herbs. I actually got the farm making them for me right now. So, we have the grill mask. Now, part of my grinding was waiting for the Argosy to turn up. It just hasn't. Um, in fact, I don't know when it's coming through. But, the grill mask. It has two abilities. Because as you level up these masks in mastery, sometimes they'll gain more slots for abilities. But, Cha Cha looks kind of funny. And I better show you what this does. Before I forget. Oh, yeah, I think I forgot to note. On the back wall there. All of the masks Cha Cha wears. Um, will kind of be displayed in a. Uh, kind of disturbing way actually. When I first saw Cha Cha's head hanging there. It freaked me out for a couple seconds. It's like oh my god. Cha Cha's like disembodied head. Just floating there but. It kind of makes sense. In fact, let me read the description for this mask. Okay, so whereas the grill mask usually focuses on smaller monsters, so it can have its merits. But, something which is sort of cool, but eh, about the grill mask. So, you'll notice that one of your slots now is barbecue with mask. So we're going to go over here in the nice bright sunshine, Cha Cha's going to catch up and when you use this option, Cha Cha digs and damn it, made a rare steak. There's <laughs> disembodied floating head. Yeah, the game doesn't expect you to make this off the cliff. Oh, hello, great, Jackie. I'm kind of making word on stakes. I prefer you not to disturb me. Fine, then. Return to village. Since we can't make any food with Cha Cha. I mean, as I'm saying, though, with the grill mask, he didn't expect you to be cooking off a cliff, so he didn't make a bottom texture of Cha Cha's body hanging there but they also didn't expect well they expected it kind of with the other barbecue spits because I mean when you see the other barbecue spits getting used they are they usually have like a couple sticks at the bottom to signify they've been used for I, I managed to cook six of them before the great jaggy came out to play so let's get us up to ten and our inventory going along, we, we can, we're getting up in paintballs and dung bombs right now. But, we've got a new area to explore. We have the tundra. The place where time um, stops. And I can actually show you what being cold does, because I haven't actually been able to do that. And I've got some hot drinks in my box, but I don't care. I'm going to buy some more. And Anyway... Guild sweetheart, let's go to the tun. Well, I'm not taking you as a tundra with me because I think, well, you're used to more temperate climates and stuff. So, but now we go to the tundra where time stands still. Yes, welcome to the Tundra Base Camp. You've got your bed here and your boxes here, which are slightly iced over and probably frozen open, actually. So, this area is a lot smaller than other areas, but don't let that throw you off. There's a lot here. So, area one, 
We're cold now. I can finally survive cold. Where do you stop? Your character shivering, obviously. And you'll notice that our stamina is going down slightly faster while we're cold. It'll also decrease faster overall. So, if you want to take a hot drink. Um, here is the cat statue for this map. We've got some honey and bugs. And a new enemy, Popos. These are the Aptonov of this area. I believe they're also kind of more violent than the uh, Aptonov. Maybe. Well, the babies run off, but the other one doesn't really know what to do. Okay, it's running. And we get some jumbo bones, and I think these have popo tongues as well. They also have raw meat. So that's area one. It's not really open. Over here. Now this is the first. Is a secret area which is completely sealed off right now. So we'll we'll come back to that later. Area two then. Let's get over here. Now, area 2 is very wide open, and we have another new enemy, Baggy. Now, Baggies are the ice equivalent of the Jaggy, and they have quite a nasty ability. They're probably the worst of the, uh, of all of them. Let's see if I can get one of them to show it off. No, don't bite me. Because they have a very nasty habit of spitting. Come on, spit at me. Bit. Okay, since these pl these Jaggy are inordinately polite, I'll tell you, their spit induces sleep and it will send you to sleep. You can get, you can stop yourself going to sleep by drinking an energy drink or if someone else knocks you. Area 3, we got more Popos and this is sort of, sort of wide open. There's nothing really big in the tundra in the open areas I find. Until we get to area 4 at least. In area 4, it's a cave and look who it is, the Giggies. There are also mining points here, which contain some unique ores for the area. But this one only wants to give me earth crystals. Seriously? Just, just earth crystals? <laughs> oh my god. Ice crystals! No, we've already had those. Just, just, you just have to take my word for it. Okay, let's go back to area 3 so I can go to area 5. Because there's something very scary in area 5. I be Well, I believe it's in the uh, Harvest Tour. I'm not too sure. It's definitely in most missions, though. Yep, it's here. This is area 5. And it's a Giggy. This is a Giggy spawner. If you leave it here, it will constantly... Look, see? Giggies are coming out of it. You can destroy it, however. But yeah, this is just a massive Giggy area. It's kind of scary to think that all of those are Giggy eggs or whatever, but... Oh, well. If we come up here... We get to area 6, which is got more baggies in it. Maybe these guys would be polite enough to spit at me. Or rude enough. Come on. Come on. No, they don't want to spit at me. Okay, there is something up here though. This is sort of a open arena area which you can start on it yeah there's really nothing in the tundra to talk about it's all ice yeah it's all a, it's all a cold area so there's no area in the tundra where you can't be without hot drinks so everywhere is cold uh, this is the last area area seven which has more baggy in it and see-through ice which yeah You'd have to remember it for a long time, but again, remember this area. Remember the ice. The sea for ice. So yeah, that's... Wow, not even the supply items we come through here. That's how small the tundra really is. Actually makes me wonder if there was meant to be more to it, but... Who knows? I feel like they should be, though. Like, maybe an area below it. Area 6, maybe an area between 4 and 2. Just It needs more content in this area. <sighs> yep, 
you know, base camp's the only place where you don't need hot drinks, but... Yeah, that's the tundra. It's a uh, quite boring place, actually. Now that I consider it. Probably one of the most boring of all of the uh, areas to explore. I mean, there are there are unique items here because there's unique items in every single area, but it's just wide open ice area and caves. Oh, uh, great! What's happening? Oh, great. Does that mean... Yep. The recording device stopped. Oh, freaking hell. Okay. I'll be back after I... solve this pain again. Same problem. Drivers have uninstalled, but... Well, I'll be back later anyway. This... Anyway, but yeah, for now. <sighs> Fucking hell. Uh, frustrates you so much that that keeps doing that. I mean, I know how to fix it so it's not as big of an issue as it really sh could be, but it it still should be. It's one of those things that it shouldn't break. But in the last quest, Cha Cha got us a paint berry, so good for you, Cha Cha. Let's put the hot drinks away. Put the jumbo meat and raw meat. All the earth crystals and ice crystals, which. Yeah, uh, actually. Are paint berries used for something in my combo list? Oh. Well done, steak and ice crystals. I mean, ice crystals are new. You can shield me. Yeah, for some reason I thought they have got like, sandy plains in the caves. Oh, I've already got... Ah. Fire herbs and nitro shrooms. Gunpowder. Gunpowder and a screamer. Equals a psych bomb. Yeah, filling out this list, it's going to take a while, isn't it? I'm just going to start going for it. Okay. So, the Argosy is in town again, and the captain actually wants to say something to us. Hello, hunter. Yoko Kita. You hunt well, we trade well, yes? You just in time. Another carrier pigeon arrives, saying another land wants to trade with you for Moko commodities. This one called Wyvarian Hub. Their trade good, ver goods very special. Hard to come by anywhere else. Tokubetsu. May happy want to hear a little secret about Wyvarian Hub? Sure. Sokronakucha. Listen well. I I too am Wyvarian. Surprised? My family, they waited in Wyvarian Hub for my gallant return. You make Arkosi Captain very happy if you send him home. I make sure to bring back items to Max Hunting Fleet's power. But for now, show me commodities. Yes, we trade. I got some giant skulls. Uh, do you have anything new on you right now for one star? No, but you've got you got three star commodities now, and four star. Wow, yeah. Obviously, some some monsters we can hunt have four, have two, have loads of commodities. Okay, let's talk to Junior quickly. Oh, she's son. Uh, we need three shroom germs and two busy bees. Oh, 
Oh, busy bees are cheaper today. Oh, fine pelts are worth more. Let's put fine pelt up. Yeah, I've got a lot of... I don't normally have trade arms because I'm usually using them all the time, but... Yeah, having curved fangs is a good thing. Anyway, with that... So we're going to do these one at a time because I believe that... Um, one can override one cutscene can override another cutscene. So that's that cutscene done. I, I could get the fire herbs from them, but I won't. And I think this is the first upgrade we got for honey, so... So that's all the upgrades done for now. Let's get all of these herbs out of the way and they'll only be cultivating for a little while. And we've actually got a max level shroom box, so this will now do 10 cycles. Very efficient. Um, don't believe there's anyone else who we need to speak to. Just check my inventory. Actually, let's check the quest list. Um, So we have a choice. Hunter killer, which is to hunt the barrel from the great jaggy, which... May not be a bad idea for me, actually, but I mean, these are both monsters we fought before, so. But it's not a bad idea since I do need Baroth parts. Um... Meanwhile, there's the Lagombi, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to hunting. There's the Great Baggy. There's Slay 20 Normal Baggy, or there's Cold Stones. Choices, 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 eh? Uh, so, let's see. Four star. That's interesting. What? Okay, so the dex is being completely unreliable and telling us that a quest we haven't unlocked yet is the only key quest. So, we know where we're going, to the Monster Hunter Wiki. So we're going to check that quest list. Yeah, I just want to see what the key quests are, because I kind of want to leave them, so we don't unlock things unnecessary. So, bar, um, Lagombi is the only key quest we've gotten right now. So if we did Lagombi, we'd unlock a very interesting quest. So, Lagombi, unfortunately, has to be done last. So... Uh, it's back to Sandy Plains to hunt more monsters. I know you're probably getting tired of hunting the same monsters, but that's what you have to do sometimes. Uh, we don't really need one of these, so... Let's see, Medic, Weakener, and Dung Master. <laughs> uh, Gatherer? Let's, let's have Weakener and Dung Master if possible. This also increases our health by 30, so... And that's an empty bottle of Coke for all and four, because, yeah, I've got too many bottles of Coke lying on the floor around here. I really need to clean them up. And I only got Dung Master, which is the one which is less useful. Yeah, the one quest I wanted to do today is the one quest we cannot do today. Well, we could probably do it right at the end, but... Yeah. If I do that one quest, it unlocks the urgent immediately, and I don't want the urgent yet. You'll, you'll probably see... You'll know why I don't want the urgent, when you see what the urgent actually is, but... but yeah, for now we've got a great Jaggy and a Baroth room in the plains. So... We're going to go take on the Great Jaggy, because I want to see how much I destroy him now with this Switch Axe.
Yeah, I'm probably going to uh, utterly mutilate this guy. The Baroth's definitely the bigger threat right now. Oh yeah, I wanted to upgrade this armor as well. I'll do that after this quest. So, Great Jackie. Say hello to my little friend. His name is Chacha. Yeah, a lot of back, uh, Jaggies and Jaggiers around right now. And we've already broken your frill. Yeah. The Jaggies are pushover now. Look, I mean, we've gotten... It's elemental weakness, which is fire here. I mean, Cha-Cha's not going to be doing as much damage as we are. Because, I mean, Cha-Cha's got water attack on for the uh, Baroth, but... That's one other thing I really wish you could do. I wish you could send your helpers off to areas. Like, you could tell Chacha, okay, track down the Baroth and engage. You know, that would be a really nice thing to d be able to do. But we can't, which can be good for us sometimes, but... I mean, in certain quests, I can understand why you wouldn't be able to do that, which those quests are coming up, but. So, there's the great Jackie gone already. And we can't carve it because it's outside the area. Typical, eh? And my switch hacks to recharge before I could reload it. But yeah, we didn't really need jaggy parts, so... I mean, you didn't do too much damage to see the did it, look. Yeah. And there are Aptonov here. And where is the barrel? I have a bad feeling he's in area too. Yep. Hello, Baroth. Our eternal rival for now. I mean, the amount of times I fought you today is making it feel like that now. Yeah, things I've learnt from battling it. It's a waste of time to use sword mode for me. Because I am just not quick enough with my reactions with the sword, with the sword but, um, mode quite yet. Um, hopefully I'll get like three shells from doing this quest and I won't have to hunt it ever again. Which would be very nice indeed. You know, can't deny how nice that would be. And I somehow dodged that. I don't know how I dodged that. Oh yeah, one thing about multiple monsters being in the same quest. The monsters will be scaled down. So the Baroth and the Jaggy are actually weaker in this quest than they are in their respective quests. So this is actually the best quest to hunt for Baroth parts. And Mudman! I am Mudman! Yeah, if, <laughs> if you knew that obvious reference, I will hug you. Oh, Chan Chan's dancing, probably to heal me, isn't he? Oh, he did a health recovery large, which is his rarest. Cha Cha. Don't get angry, get even. Oof, I go flying. Yeah, I really want to fight the zombie. I mean, I might I might do another video where I do all the 
four star quests up until this point and just just so I can show you what the gombi's like because I freaking love the gombi <sighs> do I have to start singing the opening to Patman stage I mean I can if you want me to Are you that repelled with my singing? <laughs> Are you going to area one or three? One. We haven't actually seen him enter this area before. And Cha Cha's back. So yeah, he can go. His main areas of movement are areas one, two, three, and four. Very neat. Um, Neatly done that is Baroff. I don't believe he'll ever go into a hot area. I could be wrong, but I've never seen it. So unless I've seen it, it is false for me. <laughs> yeah. Although switch axe Although the sword mode is useless for me, it's better if I use it when it's um, on the floor like that. What are you doing? Why are you attacking that Jaggy? I mean, I, f I, I assume he was going for Cha Cha, but. <laughs> He's into rage mode. Oh, that. What is with the AI this time round? I, your tail is mine. Okay, that was a strange AI decision. It's like, I'm going to head bash you. No, I'm not. I'm going to back off and spin. Oh well. Oh. Are you kidding me? Madman reloaded. I want to get that shiny. See, I have got I have got lots of it off screen, but you are freaking kidding me again. After I fixed it. Come on. If this means my let's play never ends, <laughs> Ugh, I'll be so annoyed. And it was a wyvern too. But one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, now I can guarantee the audio will be back in sync. I guess it's going to go to area 4. That's what it appears to be. So yeah, I'm not going to be doing all 4 star so one VR because the bloody recorder is too unstable right now, despite it being should be at its most stable right now. Thanks for the small health recovery. I would have had a large one, but considering circumstances, I'm glad. What are you doing, Baroff? What? 
the hell just happened? Okay, let's do this. Damn it, it didn't get up in time. I was hoping it would get up just as I uh, did that. Oh, it didn't even roar. That's how tired this guy is. You know what? If you're so tired, come here, big boy. No, don't go to Cha Cha. Cha Cha, stay over here. I am at heart a Pokemon trainer, and you did not go down anywhere near the trap. Yeah, this probably means I'll get less shells, but I don't care right now. I want to get this quest over with. Yeah, you have to wonder why this, my recording software just suddenly decided I don't want to work anymore. Pretty much, if I, um, if it does go wrong, what I have to do is delete every trace of it on the computer, including on the, uh, hardware, restart the computer, then reinstall all traces of of it and that fixes it but it hasn't seemed to have done it properly this time which means it's either something wrong with the machine or there's something wrong with the uh, cables and I'm hoping to high hell it's wrong it's something wrong with the cables because I'm not this thing costs bloody lots I'm not re um, um, replacing it. How many shells did I get anyway? Probably not as enough, but anyway, I need two trank bombs and a shock trap out of my box. And I've got lots of trank bombs and lots of shock traps, which. Sure, you can go on that page. I also need one paint, well, one mega potion. And you got me a jaggy hide. <laughs> Thank you, Cha Cha. Didn't get enough. I need two more bloody shells. Okay. Uh, cha cha. You can be on fire attack. Because we're going to keep going. Despite all of the issues we're having right now. We're going to try and push on. And good it is. Fire. So, this guy, we're going to be hunting the Great Baggy next. Oh, and that is the one ability I would love. Please give me Feline Insomniac. Yes! It means I can't show off the Great Baggy's main ability, but oh well. Leader of the Ice Pack, hunt a Great Baggy. I have no idea how long we've actually been recording, but probably just over half an hour. Anyway, we get given hot drinks, paintballs, 
And we get given flash bombs and energy drinks. As I said before, energy drinks are the way to um, shake off sleepiness. But I've got insomniac, meaning although I can't sleep in the camp bed, I can't be put to sleep. Now I believe it starts in area 2 and as you'd guess there are a lot of baggy around due to the great baggies existence on this map. Not area 2? It's area 7 then I guess. It's area 2, 3 or 7. That's what I've narrowed it down to in my mind. I'm guessing it's 7. But I would have sworn it was 2. Not 7 either. Uh, is it... Is it 6? This is definitely the great baggy quest, yes. In case I picked a different quest. No, uh shit then I guess it was free. Uh, um That's strange. But now it has a cutscene when you enter it, but And this is the Great Baggy, the final of the uh, Aggie trio, I guess. There was a Great Jaggy, Great Rogie, and then there was a, that is a Great Baggy. As you'd expect of this guy, he fights just like all the others, except he has one difference. He spits sleep poison, which, if it hits you, will put you to sleep. I mean, that, that Popo was completely fine once we managed to wake it up. And it will live to fight another day. As you guess from the other two, its one break is its forehead, is its head, where that horn breaks. Its biggest weakness is fire. Um, and he he has put Cha Cha to sleep, or one someone has. Oh God, my wrist is suddenly. I might have stretched something in my hand because my thumb doesn't like it. Oh wait, it's better. And I forgot to upgrade my armor again. But then again with everything screwing up and... I can't get put to sleep. Ah, na, 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 na. What now, fool? What now? You have nothing. You are you are just a blue jaggy. Say hello to my little friend. I believe he does have more health due to the fact he's a uh, four-star monster, but. He's still a freaking big pushover compared to other monsters at 4 star. And we have broken his horn. So we have all the brakes on the Great Baggy and he just seems content in roaring and calling up his friends who haven't come. They have abandoned their lord in his darkest hour.
And, yep, he's already weak. Now, I believe he's either going to area 4 or to area 7. I'm going to guess 4, but I'm hope I'm thinking 7. Nope, 4. You know what? Might as well take them. I mean, they're supply items. Yeah, his eyes glow in the dark. It's a cool feature, actually. Freaking thumbs hurting. I've never actually tried it, so I don't know how good the baggy armor is, but... Are you kidding? <sighs> I am freaking hating today. You know, this... Where is the cable? I believe this is it, isn't it? Yep. That's the cable for the recording system. For some reason it thinks it's constantly being inserted. Okay, let's put it in the... F <sighs> um, plug the fucker. Thanks, power. Yeah, I apologise for this interrupting your... You in pleasure, but I kind of need to see what's on the screen, Podge. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry for this interrupting you constantly, but I mean, it's plugged into the front now, so I can quickly fix it. Capture. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, you're not getting away just because of the pod. Yeah, that's how it gets away from this area. It jumps up there and then goes off into the shadows. It's a Balrog of Morlock. And this is the baggy sleeping area, actually. It's the uh, carnival nest of this area. I should have mentioned earlier, but... Anyway, yeah, the reason I wanted to hunt Legombi is because he's a great fight for this area, but we can't fight him until last, so. I think one of the uh, baggy abilities is resistance to sleep spit. So, pretty much it's a, it's only useful against this and one other monster in the entire game, so. Yeah, I'm not going to kick back because I'm bloody eagle eye viewing the uh, recording equipment right now. But well, two more quests, then there's the Lagombi. So it will kill 20 baggy and deliver 8 bloodstones. The bloodstones quest is going to be the most bo Oh, and they're both unstable environments. And oh, bloodstones is going to be a very interesting quest if it's... If that's the, if that's the guest monster in bloodstones... I'm going to have some interesting times in that quest. My arch nemesis, nemesis is, 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 is in the Bloodstone quest sometimes. 
He's actually the entire reason I got this armor set, but... Never wants to speak to me again. But first, before I forget, I have a lot of armor spheres, so... Oh, armor sphere plus is that that means. Damn it, I accidentally clicked off. Damn it, I clicked off again. So I need armor sphere pluses for next upgrades, but... It's a more defensive set now, and Chief Sun. Hey there, Hunter. Thanks for coming. I've got a bit of a request for you. You know that there's still one field on the farm that hasn't been restored yet, right? We want to till that land so we can bring farm productions back up to pre-earthquake levels. If we fix it up, the amount of crops we can harvest will increase too. By now you know this is going to take some materials and resources. Hey, I'm sorry to keep pushing this on you. I've made a list of everything we need. You've done so much for us already, but please try to make some time for this. So we need the fertile mud, which I got a lot of, super sized dung, and two catalysts. So I'm gonna go get those catalysts right now because they're actually a combination item and I can store other items while I wait. Uh catalysts. Honey and bitter bugs. God, that bloodstone quest doesn't look nice. So, we go up to the farm. And... Yep, all of the farms are now back up. All the fields are back up. Have a look to see at this. We were tilling the fields when we found something r real weird. It's a pot that smells like who knows what. I figured it's just enough, big enough to fit over your head. Of course, who would be silly enough to wear a pot like a mask? Maybe a full kid or something who who's, or someone touched in the head. Hmm, you want it? I can't imagine why, but whatever. So we have now been given the mystery pot mask. And all of them are done. That's Max Field. The mystery pot mask is a very good mask for Cha Cha to have. And he's got a baggy scale. It's made from mysterious pots. Hand over the item hand over an item and the wearer will throw it in and with a puff of smoke, the smoke will change it. Will change it to an item. Now the wearer will target large monsters from a safe distance. So he does target large monsters with this mask on, so I will be using it, but uh you can have fire attack. You can't have two different kinds of attack. But you can also have... Um, stun attack, I guess. Now, I don't actually know the items that um, you need to throw into the mystery pot mask. That's something I never remember. I know John knows it very well, but... Anyway. Come here, kid. Step a little closer so I can have a look at you. And I can't even resync it because it's right in the middle of a freaking cutscene. Oh god. Okay. Come here, kids. Step a little closer so I can have a look at you. Uh huh. Yep, you're ready. So here's the word: the Legiacus has been sighted again in Moga Waters. You know what that means. Uh, but don't you worry. I can tell you right now that you're up to the task. Heck, I bet you're tougher than he is. Now listen up, kid. The Legiacus has got special organs on its back that it uses to conduct electricity. you got to watch out for those. The more juice the beast generates, the more brilliantly they shine. Actually, it's a lovely sight of here. The glow gets so bright the sailors have mistaken it for lightning. Problem is, most of those sailors are 100% certified dead but now because they didn't hear clear the heck out of there. See, once the organs are charged, the Legiacus produces all the electricity at once in a vicious, deadly attack. The prettier the sight, the more you got to beware. Kind of like my first girlfriend, come to think of it. <laughs> anyway, just try carefully around that glow. Watch out. There, I yelled it. Now you won't forget. 
Hmm, if there was just some way to keep it from charging up juice, you might stand a fighting chance. Oh, did I say fighting chance? I meant a better chance. You'll be fine. <laughs> the girl has agree agreed to make this quest official, so drop by the quest counter just as soon as you're ready. So that means that we clear the key quest that... That means the uh, wiki was lying about key quests as well. You can't trust anything with these play quests. So um, I know I tend to clone around, but what I'm about to tell you is no joke. Did you get did that get your attention? Did it? I bet you're wondering what's up. Actually, I bet you're wondering if I'm even capable of mature conversation. Well, let's find out. He's back. The Legiacus, the Lord of the Seas himself. Do you remember when you first saw, saw one way back when you first started doing quests? That wild journey in your gut? Well, considering I've been your closest friend your whole hunting career, I think I can say with some authority, you're far and away a better hunter than the one that first ran for dear life from that Legiacus so long ago. You've matured into a truly skilled hunter. Now it's time to do what you came to do and save Mocha Village. Oh, and if killing it's too hard, then just driving it off will be fine. If you scare it enough, I'm sure it won't come back. Also, your fly is down. Major luck! So, we have an urgent quest called um, Trial of Sea Dragon. We just have to send the Legiacus packing. But, we're not going to do that because I want to get all these quests out of the way. So, 20 baggies first. <sighs> Freaking hell. I can't believe the recording device is just this glitchy today. Oh, dub, I can't go back in my house. Um... I got enough equipment. Now, this is an unstable quest. The monster that can appear on this quest is a great baggie, so, you know, we've already seen one of them. You don't really need to worry too much about appearance quests. And it's just killing 20 of these buggers. So, it's not a hard quest, it is just a tedious quest because of how long it takes. See, I wonder what items I need to hand Cha Cha to get him to. Who knows? Anyway. I forgot to drink my hot drink, but. Oh, yeah. Resyncing the audio. One, two, three. One, two, three. Huh. I completely forgot about resyncing the audio. Me and Ellerton must have been panicking for about four or five minutes by now. Who knows? Now nah, I would have remembered it. But yeah, this is going to be a headache to render and stuff because it's in so many fragments. So yeah, Cha Cha's personality with this mask. I forgot to mention his personality with the other mask, but I don't really I don't really pay attention to what Cha Cha says. I just noticed that his personality was a different one time, and then someone said one night, "Oh yeah, Cha Cha's personality changes with each mask." That banner bar, ever so looming. Mortal Jaggy! Oh god. The Jaggy, the Baggy, which I can never kill. How many have I killed so far? Nine. Only 11 more people. Aren't you happy? Well, if this is what you do for your entertainment, obviously not. 
No feline melinx. No stealing for you today, Bandito. I was like, wait, did Chacha just kill something? And then I just turn it. It's like, nope. Eleven dead. Twelve dead. <laughs> oh, God. This is one of the most... This is one of those quests, isn't it? Thirteen dead. Uh, next, let's go to area six because there's always a couple there. None of them will be upstairs. Cha Cha wet himself. I guess that that means that Cha Cha in this mask is a like old man kind of thing, like senior, senile kind of thing. Like no bladder control, maybe. I don't know. I'm just speculating. I just happen to see that Cha Cha wet himself. Okay, let's go for area five. How many do I have left? Three. Oh, that gigginess. Yeah, I kind of fear the giggy. Not well, not the giggy themselves, what they turn into. Yeah, we'll be getting to that later. Maybe even later this rank. So yeah, considering our main mission is to take down Ligia Chris, we're really slacking in our job right now, aren't we? I mean, that's meant to be our main mission in life. You know, the uh, hunt, the fishing, the fishing crew. Their mission is fishing, but our mission is uh, killing the Ligia Chris. <sighs> Which we're failing. You will be the last sacrifice. I bet Banabara are really stable like platforms to put cameras on. I mean look at look at the way they fly, completely stable. Do I just put a camera around their neck and they'd be the ultimate spy on hunters? Wait a second. Maybe they are. Huh. We have we have found a uh, conspiracy, people. I'm going to put that online. The Banabara are the, uh, the hunting guild spies. Okay. So, since our mission is mining this time, it's time for a little, um... Nostalgia trip back to our first armor set. Treasure's value has increased. 
Because this armor set, if you remember, makes mining fast. Oh, I really need to get this assault axe upgraded though. Maybe this mission will be last, and next video will be the Gombi, then Trial of the Sea Dragon. That's not what I want. It's, uh. Is it fish and milk? Yep. Fish and milk. Um, for some reason, whenever your ingredients upgrade, the hidden effect is lost. So, even though I gather them all, they're all lost again. So, I'm just going to wait until I have all my ingredients up to the highest level they can be. But yeah, this quest is going to be the most dangerous one we've done. Since the intruder monster, I'm hoping to high hell, doesn't appear. My eternal rival might appear in this quest, so... I mean, they've given us dung bombs, so the possibility is there, but... Oh, well, so we've got to liberate bloodstones. The mining points for bloodstones. Yeah, there are a lot of giggies around. Ah. Uh, okay, the first area, is, well, it's area 4, 5, and 7. Those are the mining areas for bloodstones. So I'm going to go up to 4. Go across to seven, then down to five. Because in theory, that might allow me to avoid the mon the uh, uh, the monster I really don't want to see. If it does appear, I won't squeal. I just run like normal. Yeah, I got this armor just so I can see you, Giggy. <laughs> and so can Cha Cha. I sissy him. That's a unique one for this part. Bloodstone! Two. Three. Are there any other mining notes in this room? Yeah, if, if that monster appears, I am cooked. My goose is cooked because I cannot, I wouldn't be able to fight it off using this armor. There are many people who could, but I couldn't. By the way, if you're playing along at home, <laughs> just thought I'd randomly say this, if you're playing along at home and you have just um, encountered our mystery monster, please. Feel free to scream your lungs. Really, I should have come with no equipment. Anyway, down to area 5 because we are sh short free bloodstones. Four. Six. Seven. We are one short. Eight. Nine. Yeah, I'm going completely the wrong way to exit this, but oh well.
Did I get away unscratched? Oh my god, I did. We're home free, people. <gasps> oh, I can breathe. Oh. Seriously, when, that, when as soon as I saw that the uh, that that monster appeared, my blood just went cold. Oh, frick. I won't tell you what what that monster was. You probably found it out if you go on it yourself. But I'll tell you that monster when it appears later this rank. Oh jeez, heart's beating a mile a minute. Okay, let's relax. We're through the worst. I see him, I see him, I see him. Oh, a mega pickaxe. Light crystals and sun spider jewels. And let's get this jewel. Maestro plus one. Maestro is a very good ability for hunting horn users. It boosts their um, song times. But you get that on Kira Peko armor, which hopefully you would have gotten if you're listening to me at all. Not that you should ever listen to. The crazy person with all the information. Oh, freaking hell though. That was adrenaline pump adrenaline pumping, I have to say. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I'm going to do the Gombi and probably the Geocross immediately afterwards, because I want to fight the Gombi right now. Yep, I'm ready. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go for a week now. Actually, no. Icebreaker and groomer. And I only got groom up, oh well. There's no bounce slider, Lugombi. Now, some things you should know about the Lugombi it is the second of the Pelagius trio, so it is along the same lines as the Azeroth. So, if you fought the Azeroth a lot of times before, you can sort of guess what this guy's fighting style is going to be. It's not the same, because the Logombi is a very cool monster because it uses its terrain to its advantage. But, you can imagine the sort of style that it would use. Anyway, if we go to Area 2... So, as you saw from that cutscene, the Gombi is a sliding bugger. It slides around a lot. And it does the spinning move. Now, one of its favourite moves is that it will throw snow. It uses a lot of ice moves and it can back up and crush you with its backside. And it slides. Now, if you played the Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate demo on either the eShop or the, um, well, on the eShops for the 3DS or Wii U, this guy's actually the monster you fight for easy mode. So, a lot of people, well, you can fight this guy right now if you have a Wii U or a 3DS. You know, just go on the, online and buy the, or download the demo. You don't even have to buy anything, unless you haven't got a 3DS or a Wii U, 
which you should get one because it's a good well they're good consoles they're just not advertised well now he hasn't done his really nice his really cool ice move yet he's mostly stuck to just throwing chunks of ice like he has he he doesn't actually use like a, a, as many claw moves as the Azeroth, it has to be said. One, two, three, one, two, three, and oh. I mean, what you've seen is pretty much his limit already of claw moves. He is a very fast bugger though. Oh, that's, yeah, he has that move, of course, but... And of course he has to say it again today, I'm... Basically, gonna ring up and say, oh, what the hell's going on?" And he has the butt stomp, which I love that so butt stomp. He just like, tells you, "I was like, oh, means there's a hunter behind me. I'll sit on warranties and now null and void." Which, you know, that's generally what you do when someone's behind you. You sit on them. Now its breaks are its claws and its. Why ears. are you doing your big ice well, attack? Well, I think it might have two breaks in its face as well. I'm not too sure. Its big ice attack is awesome. Again, now oh. even worse, it's sub maxes. Where I have to restart. So yeah, I won't be fighting the Geocurus because first I want to work out what the hell's going on with my soft hardware. But what are you doing? Is that where you eat? Honestly, I haven't ever seen the Lagombi eat before. It's sort of... So that's sort of new information for me. And it's limping. Usually when it leaves an area, it just... slides like hell. But... It doesn't even have the energy to do that. And, oh, when it limps, it usually goes like, to area 4 or 7, but... Uh, obviously, I'm killing it way too fast. Jeez, Legombi, you're not looking too good. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just being honest and... Oh, you tumbled. Poor Legombi. It's time for your rectal exam. You don't want that? Time for your rectal exam. My dung bomb. My dung bomb. You're resorting to the Azeroth moves? I didn't actually know it had some of these moves, but... I honestly didn't know it had them. God, I feel so bad for the Lugombi now. It's just like, it can't do anything. I'm wondering if I should catch it and let it live, but it'll be in misery for the rest of its existence. Maybe I should, maybe we could euthanize it, I don't know. Oh. Oh, Lugombi. Yeah, try and, yeah, yeah, we know. You're like Lord of the Tundra or whatever. Well, it's definitely putting up more of a fight. Now, I wanted to throw the snow, the massive snowball, because I want to show you what it, there's something it does. Uh, don't think it's ever going to do it, so I'll just show it. Basically, basically, it rolls a snowball across the floor, which when it hits you, it will cause the snowman status. The snowman status is pretty much the same as the ice man status, except it gives you ice. Well, the mud man status, except it gives you ice blight instead. Um, again, you can be hit out of it. You will eventually break out of it and cleanses. 
this is the worst video I've ever recorded. <laughs> Oi, Chacha, -cha. do you know why? Do you know why the recording software is effing up? Of course you wouldn't. You're just a shakalaka. Oh, a plush drone. I think that might be one of his rare items because I've never actually seen that before. And the Gombi ears. Of course, it's our biggest and smallest, but. So that's all the four star key quests done for now. Or well, four star quests, I should say. Uh, hot drink and four Legombi pelts. Seriously, I just gathered Legombi pelts off that guy a lot. Don't know if the Legombi has a switch axe. I doubt it does. In fact, let's check if we can actually build any more switch axes since um, we've killed all these monsters. Because. Oh wow, we got two new. The Ground Dasher, which is Baroff and Gobel. Oh, I think that's an upgrade of... Oh, and the Rough Edge. The Rough Edge is actually the first Switch Axe I ever used, but I didn't use it for that long. So, back in try, I used it for like one one quest. In a, well, for one bit, I couldn't work out how to use it because I didn't have the patience. But yeah, Green Tick means all the quests here are done, but Four Star isn't done yet. Try the Sea Dragon. It's a four star quest, so you know we still got four stars. So there's a village chief actually. Do you know what? I'm gonna screw it. I don't care about recording issues. We're going for this. At this point, I am pissed off enough to do it. Although, let's get the decks back up, because every time I reinstall stuff, I have to get the decks back up. Um. I want to know what immediate items I need for a certain little upgrade. Uh, all of that would only be possible with death, so. Okay. So the itinerant cook. I'd love. I'd like to have my last meal, please. We'll get in thunder cooler. And hopefully Thunder Resistance here. Well, hopefully we get Thunder Call. We definitely get Thunder Resistance. And we got all of the skills. Good. Now, the Geocris's big weakness is fire. Because it's an aquatic monster that uses lightning. So, obviously, its only weakness could be fire. But we have to repel it. That means we cannot kill it during this quest. We pretty much just have to do enough damage for it to run away. Yeah, we're finally fighting our, well, the, what the game considers to be our arch nemesis. Hmm, so the time of reckoning has come. It appears the terrifying Legiochris has emerged from the sea. It has been spotted as close as Area 5 on the map. As you well know, kid, Legiochris is one bad beast. Now I could have handled him easily when I was your age, sure. Anyhow, you've come a long way, kid. Now is your big chance to shine. Oh, I'm so jealous of you right now. Summon up all your strength and challenge the Legiochris. Make all of us proud, kid. So, the chief has told us that it was spotted in Area 5. Meaning, when we go to, when we go to Area 5, we're going to have a good sight. Now, if you're good enough, the I don't think the Geocrist can actually go in water in this quest. But yeah, everything's a bit riled up today.
So it is time to actually go after this guy. So the Geogris is a Leviathan. You can go on water and on land. And if you fought the Royal Ludroff a lot, ironically, a lot of its techniques are similar. Except for the lightning attacks. Yeah, the lightning attacks are its moves and pretty much its alone. There's not many monsters this early in the game that use thunder moves. And it can slide along the ground on its belly and so that is probably pointless for me to use the... And it's already knocked out cha, -Cha. Wow. That did not take long at all. I'm going to go for its tail, really, because I want to cut its tail off. But yeah, it's not doing as much damage to us anymore with our upgraded armor. But yeah, our armor only offers poison defense and not thunder defense. It breaks our, its face, its claws, its chest, its tail is cuttable. I believe all its... Leg scale damage rule and it's back with the shell shockers on it. In fact, if you break its shell shockers, I believe it's less likely to do lightning fiend attacks. Now, it's very established law on why the Legiacus goes on land. Basically, its shell shockers are powered by the sun. It basks in the sunlight to charge up its electrical powers and then um, unleashes them on unwary targets. Its lightning is powerful enough to boil the seas themselves. And it's actually gotten the title Lord of the Seas. Thanks to its attacks. Now it has this slide move where it slides across the ground and slams everything at its side. And I think I survived that through glitch. But yeah, pretty much it, you. I think you'll only fight from the Geocross on land in this quest. He won't ever go into the water. Well, at least I've never fought him in the water in this quest. And I believe he's doing electric attacks over there, so... Oh no, he just does his body slam. Which... Oh! When Cha Cha is in rage mode with the mystery pot mask, he releases poison smoke bombs. Which are completely useless against most monsters. Kind of useful in the Banabara. Very useful in the Banabara quest if they'd given us the mask then. But considering how powerful the mask potentially is, I can understand them not giving it to us. And we have claimed the Legiacris's tail. And it looked at us and it's like, you know what? I can't even be bothered with you anymore. <laughs> and it retreats to Area Nine. It's bloody fast at retreating too. Jeez. Most monsters we can keep up with when they retreat, not the Legiacus. Oh. And Cha Cha's still in rage mode. So in area 9, it's using more lightning moves. I want to break its chest next. And it's in rage mode. Um, I don't know how to tell if the Legiacus is in rage mode, I just know it is because it roared. Because, you know, every monster has its tails. I think it's more like it loves to use electric attack more with enrage mode, though. Go back to the shadows. Or not, you know. I'm, I'm not your boss. Imagine if you saw that tail, it might have hit me. And we just did what's known as the Superman dive, or the suicide dive. I don't know what the official name is, but that's what I've called it. Basically, you can only do it when you're moving away from an enemy. And your character will dive. It will use a lot of stamina, a bit of stamina, but your character is invulnerable while it's fl while it's flying through the air. It's very, it's a very good move to use, because if you can do it at the right 
time you can actually go through an enemy and land behind them. Oh! And the Legiacris is on the ground, writhing in pain. Now, I'm not sure of the repel quest. How long are you repelling for? Pretty much it's either until he's low on health or you run out of time in the quest. So this could potentially be a 50 minute quest, depending on how good you are. Or bad in that case, but... No, you should be able, you should have no problems with this quest really at this point. I believe if you have the Baroth armor, that's super resistance to electric attacks, so you'll be good if you have Baroth armor. And the objective is complete. The Legiacris it just says oh hell no and runs. Now I believe if you go into this area. Yep, it's still running. And he just dives right into the sea and says, oh, hell no. It only took us like seven minutes. And he's going off in the direction out of the map entirely. So, you know, you cannot follow him past area 10. I've never actually fought him in the water in this quest, but... It's probably possible if you're bad enough. But yeah, this is an invisible wall until the Geocris just swims off into the distance. We claimed its tail though. So yeah, the Geocris is a pushover now. You've, you've got better equipment. And we get some Legiacris scales, armor sphere pluses, monster and owls. Normal armor spheres, some Legiacris hides, sun spire jewels, armor spheres, armor spheres, and Legiacris claws. Save our progress. Yes, we will. Because we have just taken out a titan. And for repelling the last of, for repelling the Legiacris, we get the last of the fishing crew back up. Black Spear, ah, Black Spear here. The mouth of the shanties. I be indebted to ye, matey. At last, I can return to the open waters. Such is me joy that I decide to put it to song. Here be aroused in ditty I call, the Demon Harbor's elite fleet. Legiacris die, beastie. Hunter beat ye down, yo ho ho. Now that he took off, the fleet is back in town. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. Captain Redspear, Captain Redspear, Black Spear 2. We're a team for sooth. Yo ho ho. Now our fishing expertise is through the roof. Dun dun dun. So what do you think, are? The tender lyrics really speak from me heart. Ye me, ye've me gratitude, brave hunter. Fishmongers. Hun, you're my hero. We finally got all three boats back on the water. The hunting fleet is whole again. My boys are just tickled. I've never seen them so excited about their work. If you need to make anything at all, you just holler, alright? I mean it, hun. We're at your service. So, we have all three ships up for, up for sailing now. We're not going to use them yet. Anyway, Chief Sum. Yo, I've been meaning to ask a favour. The itinerant cook's got a recipe for extra... Healthy grade A milk, but you can't make it without the right ingredients. Premium milk makes for dishes that stick to your ribs good and good for you. I've made a list of everything we need. Try and take some time out of your busy hunting schedule to get this stuff. So, we need some ivy, mega nutrients, and pale extracts. Pale ex extracts will be the easiest part of this, but unfortunately everything else we can't get. Well, pale extracts and... Um, actually, no, we can get all of this easy. Just Ivy that's the problem. Okay. Village Chief. Kid! Kid! Ah, you did it! You really did it! I knew you'd be the one to finally drive off the Legiacris, and fortunately, I was right this time. Maybe now the village can enjoy some peace. You best rest up too. Save whatever shrink you've got. 
The beast still lives, and that's a problem. Once the once its wounds heal, once its wounds heal, the Geocris will return, and then you'll have a serious battle on your hand. No more Mr. Nice Leviathan, no sorry. It's gonna come at you full force, but that's still a ways off. You've got plenty of time to hone your skills, work on your epit. <clears throat> anyway, I can tell you're itching to finish what you started, and really, ain't that ain't that what counts? Oh, since you're still breathing, the sweetheart at the quest counter cooked up some new jobs for you. Have at them! Wahoo! You did it! You drove that darn Legiacris right out of the neighbourhood. Betcha it took off because it knew the jig was up. That its scales were fried. That that its check was mated. <laughs> nice one. Um, you don't seem very excited. What's wrong? Aren't you happy you beat up the giant monster? Oh, you wish you'd killed it? You say the whole reason you're here is to stop the earthquakes for good? Yes, you are tenacious. I hope I never end up on your hate list. Okay, well, if you're going to be all hardcore about it, then so will I. Presenting a brand new monster hunting request. This time you're going after the queen of the land, the Raffian herself. As for her strengths and weaknesses, I know nothing. Hmm? You want to know if there's any guild legends about this monster too? Heh, <laughs> nice try. Thanks to the earthquake, the guild made this a hazardous region. It's hard to get... It, the info through the usual channels. And and why do I sound so happy about that? Yeesh. So, we have some new quests. Dragon Lady, Hunter Raffian. Poached Wyvern Eggs, deliver two Wyvern Eggs. The Creeping Venom, Hunter Giganox. Yeah, that's the guy that would appear during the Bloodstone quests. Also, Dragon Lady. The quest that I was talking about ages ago for Catcher in the Kurapeko. This is the monster that might turn up. So, to the farm! <laughs> cultivate. One of you is going to cultivate ivy for me. With fertile mud, because I've got a load of it, for 10 cycles. I'm going to check what I need for mega nutrients and parallax. Well, parallax tracks, I think, are from Gigi, aren't they? Uh, mega nutrients. Yeah, the pay electrics are going to be a problem. Because those are definitely um, items off the beaten track. Uh, well, we claimed its tail, though. We claimed the Legiacris's tail. Honestly, I'm happy that we did that. Yeah. Wait, pay like oh, 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 yeah, you can hear from my excitement. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just checking if I've got any new combos. Ugh. Yeah, this has been one unstable episode, hasn't it? Honestly, yeah, more breaks in this episode than anything. I don't really know what to compare it to, but... Huh. So, next episode... We'll be, um... Probably hunting the Raffian. But between episodes, I've got to get this Assault Axe... And probably all of these axes up to Ludroth axes. Except one. In fact. Nope, there are ones. So. I thank you for watching. I thank you for having the patience of watching. And. Good. Bye.